Hi guys, welcome to Python Tutorials series. In this video, I would like to discuss how to print multiplication table for a given number in Python. We understand how to print a multiplication table for a given number in Python. For example, I want to display multiplication table for 2. 2 into 1 equal to 2. 2 into 2 equal to 4. 2 into 3 equal to 6 and so on. 2 into 10 equal to 20. I want to generate this output. How we can do this? See, first we will be generating the sequence of numbers from 1 to 10. We will generate sequence of numbers from 1 to 10. To generate sequence of numbers, what we use guys? We use range function, right? Which we discussed in the previous class. Let's go to Python ideally shell and the Python file is open here. See, we use range function right to generate a sequence of numbers it should start with one the sequence should start with one end at 10 end at 10 so we write here 11 comma it should increment by one every time it should increment by one so we'll say here one so what this range function does this range function generates sequence of numbers which starts with one it is going to increment by one so two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It stops at 10. Okay, it is not going to generate 11. Starts at 1, increments by 1, and stops at 10, guys. Okay, now we can loop through this sequence using the for loop. So we'll say here for i is a variable in range. So range is this. Okay. Now what happens here is for loop gets 1 puts in the i. We can print that using print i. So it displays 1. Then next what for loop does? It takes 2 puts in the i and prints. Takes 3 puts in the i prints. Takes 4 puts in the i prints and so on. It goes up to 10. It puts in the i and displays 10. See now we get 1 to 10 displayed in the screen guys I'll save it and say run model you see we are able to get 1 to 10 we are able to generate sequence of numbers from 1 to 10 incremented by 1 you can see here now next what I want I want to display before 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 2 and X 2 and X so simply what I can do here I can say 2 comma X is a character so I put that in double quotations and then I say here comma okay now what happens 1 is stored here so 2 into 1 is displayed then 2 is stored in the i 2 into 2 is displayed then 3 is stored in the i 2 into 3 is like that it displays 2 into 10 up to 10 so if I save this and say run model see now we are able to get 2 into 1 2 into 2 2 into 3 2 into 4 next after 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I want to display equal to symbol what I do I, give, I say comma in double quotations I say equal to if I save this and say run model you see we are able to get 2 into 1 equal to 2 into 2 equal to next I want to display here multiplication of multiplication of 2 and i 2 into i where i value is changing from 1 to 10 so 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 that's what displayed here if I save this and say run model we are successfully able to generate the multiplication table for 2. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. That's what we are getting. See, this range function is generating sequence of numbers from 1 to 10. Right? 1 is stored in the i. So, 2 into 1 equal to 2 into 1 is 2. That's what it is displaying. 2 into 1 equal to 2. Next, what happens? 2 is stored in the i. So, 2 into 2. 2 into 2 equal to 2 into 2 is 4 4 that's what we are getting here this is how you generate a multiplication table for the number 2 what I want I actually want to generate the multiplication table for any number ok so user is going to enter the number what I do here I create one variable called as num equal to using the input function I ask user to enter a number enter a number ok user is going to enter a number that number is actually a string type of value we have to convert that into integer to store in the number 
So I say here int and bracket close. Now what happens? It waits for the user input. Let's say if I enter 2, 2 is converted to integer and stored in the number. Now that 2 I have to display here. So what I will do? I will change the 2 to num and here the number multiplied by i I have to do. So if I save now and say run module, I am giving here enter a number it is telling. So I give 2 and hit enter. You see num is replaced by 2. Here num is replaced by 2. So we are getting the multiplication table guys for 2. Okay. If I say once again run module, it is asking enter a number. I say 3. What happens here? Here 3 is stored in the num. So 3. 10 times 3 is displayed. Then multiplied by i value changes from 1 to 10. Then equal to 3 into i. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 3 is 9. Like that we get the multiplication table guys. I hit enter. You see we got the multiplication table for 3. Like this you can get multiplication table for any given number in Python using the for loop and the range function guys. I hope you guys are clearly understanding. I suggest you people to try this. Okay. You should try. You should execute the code guys. Now what I want is I want to display the same multiplication table in reverse order in reverse like 3 into 10 equal to 30, 3 into 9 equal to 27, 3 into 8 equal to 24 and so on. 3 into 1 is 3. Like this it should display the multiplication table in reverse. So what we have to do? We have to make modification in this place guys. We should tell it should start from 10. It should start from 10 and it, is, it should decrement by 1. Instead of incrementing by 1, it should decrement by 1. So we use here minus 1. And then where it should stop? It should stop at 1. So here we will write 0 guys. 0. Okay. Now if I save this and say run model and it is asking for a number to enter. I give here 3 and hit enter. You see we got the multiplication table in reverse. So what is happening? First 10 is stored in the i. So num is 3, 3 is displayed multiplied by i value is 10. So 10 is displayed equal to. Here num is 3, 3 into i, i is 10, 3 into 10 is 30. Next what happens? 9 is stored in the i because it is decrementing. From 10 it becomes 9, 9 is stored in the i. So 3 into 9 equal to, 3 into 9 is 27, right? Next 8, 8 is stored in the i. 3 into 8 equal to 3 into 8 is 24 like that it is going to display the multiplication table in reverse case. So depending upon the requirement of your program you should be able to modify the code guys. Understanding? So it, it is going to generate the table for any given number now in the reverse order. Okay. If I say run model if I give here 12 I hit enter see it is giving us the 12's multiplication table in the reverse order. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try it yourself. Okay. Display the multiplication table for any given number. If you have any doubts, feel free to put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to clear guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we'll discuss more about Python. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.